Hello summoners, welcome back to another Alliance for video and in this one we're going up against Thor which uh, stats wise they are slightly higher than us but they were platinum 3 last season uh, and we were plat 2 almost platinum 1 so we do have an advantage going into this war uh, my team here is going to be Dr. Doom, Nick Fury and Medusa I will be taking path 5 in both section 1 and section 2 and we also have some mini boss action in this uh, war uh, so first I'm like going to jump over to this ebony more and not fight him because I want to take this more and the warlock at the end in the same set of boosts uh, trying to be efficient early on in the season so that I have boosts left uh, till the end uh, but now that uh, path 6 is clear and they didn't place anyone on path 4 I will go on to take this uh, rank 1 6 star Ebony Maw on Ebon Flow Knockdown. Uh, Ebony Maw was pretty common on uh, Ebon, like, on uh, Aegis Heavy which is basically uh, an easy version of the node I guess. It had indestructible until you use 3 heavy attacks I think. Uh, but after that you do normal damage uh, in the older map. Uh, but now I don't think he is the best player. Uh, actually, like the, all the characters which uh, uh, need, to, uh, like which you don't want to knock down, or they all have uh, counters at this point. I'm not sure who's the best. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure also about uh, Hit Monkey. Never fought him there. Uh, after he becomes more common, I guess uh, he'll be a pretty common placement. But Dark Hawk, Medusa makes him uh, like really easy, and then characters like Abini Mo or uh, like. Uh, uh, Mordo, uh, they could have been good on the node, but Doctor Doom, they are all pretty easy. So, as you can see, we came out pretty healthy there. And uh, next fight is going to be that Warlock uh, as soon as the thing goes down. And uh, we are going to use, of course, Medusa, that is the reason we brought her. Uh, there is also another warlock like their diversity was pretty poor in this war We are going to fight two ebony mods and two warlocks uh, and uh, uh, Like I think there, it was hundred and ten or something. We'll see that at the end. But anyways uh, I Have never been that good at fighting warlock. He has always like I've always been afraid of him because uh, of how many times I've lost my streak to him in arena because uh, Usually I run suicides uh, when I'm uh, in the off season and stuff, um, but here like uh, with Medusa after the SP1 it's just like he's gaining no power. I do have infection on me but uh, it doesn't even matter, it's just like uh, spam heavy attacks in the corner which is going to be the strategy against the second warlock also later on. Uh, he is a mini so and he for some reason has have resist mastery which will uh, give me a mini heart attack when I see we, uh, him resisting my heavy attack in the corner but anyways uh, that is it for section 1 and now moving on to section 2 uh, again part 5 is ebb and flow intercept so uh, basically I, I usually like never intercept on uh, this note because they are characters against uh, like uh, characters like Nova or uh, Rhino or uh, Thor Ragnarok where you don't want to intercept like it's a bit risky but uh, this uh, Ebony Mo was not a good placement here although this is a very unclean fight uh, I did pop and uh, combat regeneration boost just because uh, I will be using this Doctor Doom once again for the Nova at the end of this path and I wanted to come out of this fight at 100% health and that was a goal or at least as close to that as possible and uh, like pretty soon here I'm going to make a lot of mistakes so I saw the approaching falter uh, before I used my speed 3 and that got me worried because when you have the falter on you your attack will miss and I didn't want uh, like my SP1 or my light attacks to miss and then he'll be at uh, SP3 but they didn't uh, and I'm back at SP2 but here uh, I will get falter on me right at this moment and the damage wise the biggest part uh, like he didn't 
face the biggest part of the damage like that's the incinerates and three beams uh, but the heavy attack alone did so much damage that I'm pretty sure that if that would have connected that would have been it but after that like with all these falters uh, it has been like it definitely made the, me panic at the moment and uh, as a result I ended up losing almost 50% of my health I got myself parried there more than 50% apparently uh, I used my SP1 here again I see falter he evaded and it's just that he hit so weak that I didn't really have a chance to die at this fight but I like as soon as the first mistake like that's uh, really that's basically a pattern in Lance Wars uh, like if you panic in between uh, then that really hurts you and after that sp2 like the second part of the sp2 missed uh, that just uh, like after that the fight was uh, downhill from there but uh, this one uh, is nick fury versus this rhino and uh, i have never done this fight before but i was pretty sure that he could do it because uh, of the, like really high bleed damage and stuff even with the protection is still doing uh, like what 500 something we also have class advantage here and uh, we're just not messing with the uh, like intercepting him although we could because even even if we mess up we have the second life to fall back on we also had the combat region boost from the last fight so that's helpful overall like rhino here could be annoying but he's not too bad uh, because again usually it's a rank one because who would rank to rhino actually a lot of people do in high like in tier one we are in tier two uh, hoping to get to tier one pretty soon to uh, like the first war that i couldn't record because i was traveling we did end up winning that and also by this point uh, the opponent was boss rushing in BG3 so uh, we knew that uh, we will win uh, and we did so two pretty big wins in the start a uh, really good start to the season and uh, like this fight is I was just taking it slow I could have intercepted uh, that I would have taken a few hits to my block also uh, the siphon I really saw the damage come here like uh, it was 2600 through the block he wasn't baiting uh, the special here but um, even with all that uh, it's hard it was hardly a hard fight and uh, we did win uh, and then we'll have this nova but I'm pretty sure that uh, like it was a bug or something or maybe I just misclicked I'm not sure but if you have been following the channel if you have seen my uh, war videos from the last season I have never died to Nova on ebb and flow intercept uh, I've taken this fight six seven times uh, and this will be the first time I'm going to die to him spoiler alert uh, and uh, I'll let you judge it uh, I wish I had that uh, thing on uh, like there is a white circle when you touch the screen uh, but this happened to me earlier that day as well and uh, I just played risky but anyways the starting of the fight was pretty much perfect uh, this is how you want to start this fight push him to more than two bars of power go to your sp3 go for medium medium uh, light 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 medium medium sp1 will put you back to two bars of power and then you want to build up the second fury and everything just goes out perfectly it, this is this is looking another like really easy solo uh, he got unblockable there got nullified uh, and as you can see this heavy attack would put him back to more than two bars of power and we will have another sp3 so at this point this fight couldn't have gone wrong uh, we'll get the passive stun again we're going to do the same thing we're going to get uh, the sp1 off then sp2 and uh, with two furies we don't need to like care about the uh, ebb and flow intercept node uh, and actually it didn't do that much damage uh, it usually solos him this is a rank 2 6 star by the way uh, but anyways, I could have intercepted, but 
there I went for SP1 I was pretty angry at that so I just stopped recording but what I did was I went for SP1 and he just stood there uh, I think he did it registered as a light attack and uh, I just uh, like took a SP2 to my face and uh, anyways uh, so I was pretty pissed at that because I also used 80 units for a potion and it ended up uh, like still being a death but here uh, he resisted one of my heavy attacks but I didn't want to change strategy midway and a Medusa heavy attack has two parts so he would have to resist both of them uh, which seems slightly unlikely uh, but this fight again we used another power start boost so uh, overall like this war was pretty expensive boost wise and also position wise but uh, and I also died but uh, anyways we did end up winning which is all that matters at the end of the day so 2-2 two and two for the season uh, and it was a pretty big win because again they boss rush so we had 49 um, defenders remaining which are like 12,000 more than 12,000 extra points for the season and shout out to all the MVPs I was number 12 with six attacker kills and one defender kill so that's gonna do it uh, for this one thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe to the channel for more content and stay safe bye bye